Edwin orders the wagon to a halt somewhere in the dry flats of Jomwer Valley. There's someone on the road. Be careful, everyone. The figure watching the black wagon from afar approaches, arms spread wide, although a hat and cloak conceal the figure's features. Then the imp rushes out towards whoever it is. The imp is very riled up at the sight of whoever is approaching, though in almost a joyous way? Oh, the imp is apparently named Tizo, going by the screen. The venerable drive imp seems to know how the ins and outs of the Nightwing's black wagon. So this figure, this lone minstrel, is the person that was on the on the uh, same person that was on the wagon before. So maybe he went out looking for Tizo then, but then we found him instead. Tizo, it is good to see you, and you found the others even faster than expected. The imp called Tizo appears very pleased. The lone minstrel turns towards the rest of you. Hello. We have not met, but I know who you are and who you must be. I returned as promptly as I could. Have you walked with the scribes themselves? Because I think maybe you have? Hello indeed. You had us worried there when you took off. I should knock him back into his slumber. I did not aim to cause you such concern. As soon as I awakened, I had to notify my client that the night wings have returned. Your client? Aye, my client. Sandalwood. He is your point of contact, as I understand. You did not find this wagon by mistake. So what now? You continue down the path. That is why I am here. When we meet my client, he shall explain. For now, you have a job to do. I assure you that I shall not inter interfere. But I mean to accompany you. Would that be all right? Edwin and the others look exchange looks. Welcome back, Minstrel. You got a name? I am sometimes called Tariq. It is a pleasure to meet you, Nightwings. The lone Minstrel returns to the Black Wagon with your fellow exiles. Well, he's back now. I assume he's going to be a playable character? We're gaining characters almost as fast as we gain actual encounters to play with them. <laughs> the Cairn of Ha'ub is a foreboding sight. It is here that the next rite is soon to commence. Reader, if you have a moment, once we are settled on these grounds, I wish to speak with you in the wagon at your leisure. Oh, he's back. Oh, and we got, so we have a new page, we have a, the slug wagon, we have a new character. <laughs> two, two new characters, basically. The white lute, the lone minstrel Tariq, mu uh, musical instrument with, uh, with which he chronicles great deeds through song. Lone minstrel and his white lute chronicle the journey of the night wings through song. Using it, you may hear glimpses of your past experiences across the downside. Ooh. Okay. Surviving Exile, Forbidden Knowledge, Down River, Downside Ballad, The Eight Scribes, Path to Glory. Step Closer, Moon Touch Through the Valley, Dirty Deal, Glorious Tradition, Night Howlers. Flutterfly, The Herald, The Thrash Pack. Is there everything past here we can't listen to? Wow. A lot of songs in here. I don't think we have access to the theme, though. Is it In Flame, Will of the Scribes, Rage of Demons, Time Passes, Do the Stars. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I, I think I'd recognize it. And I don't think I recognize the name of the theme song, or the main song in here. Interesting. Let's just do Path to Glory. That's a nice detail. I bet I'm betting the soundtrack of this one's a bit longer than the one for Bastion, because we've already got a lot of songs here. 
the rope collar. In the words of Gol Gathenian, the Master General, I knew I was a f it was a fool's errand, but my liege, he would not listen. He instead insisted to pursue a certain treasure, a celestial orb, freshly fallen from the heavens in the reaches of the downside. He would be a living legend if only he could grasp it. Whispered in his ear that Kalmer, rope caller, his elder and most trusted aide, would that I slew the man myself. His was a simple and yet brilliant ruse to draw the Emperor farther still from his responsibilities and toward his creed. Thus did the Emperor begin an expedition into the Forsaken Lands. He insisted that he go himself. The lone minstrel seems to have situated himself in the wagon. He is still... He is very still, not unlike when he was sleeping. Reader, I shall keep this brief. As you shortly have a rite you must conduct. You have read something of the Book of Rites. Which means that you may know something of my nature. On the contrary, you know not what he means. And he soon senses this. Forgive me, for I spoke too soon. Suffice it, I have served the Nightwings for some time. Conducts, uh, conduct the rites with glory, and you shall achieve what you seek. The Lone Minstrel nods farewell to you and steps away. Okay, he, he's just assuming I knew who he was, and when I didn't, he... was He didn't really feel like elaborating that much, at least. Well, what can I afford? Oh, hey, guys. Fancy running into the you this side of the sand. So, what can I do for you? Uh, Ron? How'd you make it all this way ahead of us? Hey, come on, Mr. Greentail. Can't just give up all my business secrets, am I right? What I can do, though, is... Seeing as you've been such a good customer and all, is provide for you a sample of a little something-something you might like. Here. Check this out, seeing as you bought that Mooncrest thinger for me last time. Why, I'm just thinking you could use this. I've got more if you want. A pinch of stardust. It does seem useful. What does it do? Let's thank Ron for the sample. You're so polite. He does have more. Raises rank of certain talismans, plus one. Hello. So you can rank up a talisman to make its effect more powerful, I assume. A shimmering substance with mystical properties said to come from the heavens themselves. Okay. That's an interesting solution for the from the item pool perspective. Because I, I get a certain... Uh, I, I definitely get a little bit of a banner saga vibe with the way that we're journeying around and we're taking forking paths and we're managing resources and stuff like that. And we're getting talismans, like an item that fits into one slot on each character that affects their stats and stuff like that. But a problem that uh, Banner Saga had was that if you found an item that was good enough for a character, then that was it. You never had to, uh, once, once you had a, a good enough item for a character, you never had to switch it out again. You're like, well, I'm just gonna use this forever, apparently. But having an, an additional thing where you can buy upgrades to items, that makes sense. Ooh. They're not very expensive either. That makes me wonder how, whether or not a plus one is a tiny effect or a big effect than if the uh, cost of the upgrade seems cheap. So I think we can afford everything now. So there's more papyrus for us, more damage to the enemy. It makes them faster while carrying the orb. That one's really expensive. That one's really expensive. Holy crap. I want you though, I think. The one that makes you do more damage. That could be good. Uh, what about some pinch of stardust? The game really wants me to, 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 to shut him up. I don't really really want to though, do I? No. If he's in a, if that keeps him in a, in a good mood, then it's probably for the best. Ah, I know you're gonna love. I, I know you're going to like that stuff, guys. It's pretty. Whew. You know what I mean? And if you want some more now, I just... I know just the individual and his dad who can get it. Catch my meaning? Yeah, just stop by some other time. <laughs> Only one? Oh. Well, I'm gonna wander off now then. Actually, let's equip this. 
Let's see, you're my big damage dealer, so let's give you a, a spike. And let's see what happens when I buff it up. So right now it's plus two. Plus three, maybe? Oh, it goes from a rank five to a rank six. Okay, so it actually tells you in advance, thankfully. So right now it's a rank five talisman. This is a rank six, two quickness. It is the same. There we go. So this thing gives you a 3% bonus chance of returning instantly per talisman rank. So it's at 10 right now, so it's 30. And I can increase it to 33%. Okay. So it makes the dice roll more favor favorable, but yes, the, uh, the Stardust is quite minor in its uh, overall bonus, unfortunately. I'm gonna see if putting both into them causes this thing to get a plus three. I want this to be powerful if I can. Dang it, didn't happen. All right. Well, it is increasing its value too. So that's one thing, I suppose. We'll see if I can pour enough uh, uh, dust into this thing to eventually give it a plus three and, and so on, because getting a spike to how much damage you do each time would be very good news. Wasn't present supposed to be at a plus one for everybody? Is that gone now? Oh. Oh, I know, yeah, Spirit's the one I got. Reader's Influence Spirit. Okay, well, I believe we're done here. They're leaving, Dad. Just look at how much we got this time. Well, he seems to be in a good mood. Hopefully he's not actively conning me. Let's do the right. You and your fellow exiles gather around the sacred site known as the Cairn of Haub, anticipating the hour the rites are to commence again. Did I read this already? The accursed imp here felt the mighty bone titans. Yeah, that was the, that was the uh, tongue twister from before. All is quiet for a time, and then... I'm gonna have to get the soundtrack. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a copy of the soundtrack. <laughs> I had to listen to that build for a little bit. Okay, so an angry look, punk rock metal dog has shown up, apparently with a mohawk and piercings and everything, which is hilarious. Doesn't seem to be as fond of clothing as all the other ones seem to be, as far as I can tell. Maybe that, maybe that is all clothing get past the neck. Hard to tell a little bit. Out of nowhere, changes charges a gangly cur. That just seems mean to say, honestly. Oh, the riff. He stops short and gives you a mighty sneer. Psst. That's Barker Ashpaws. Real piece of work. Just don't make eye contact. He's a troublemaking cur who thrills in, who thrills in the defeat of the triumvirates who stand against him. Oi. <laughs> Oi, well, you, look, would you look at this lot. Even got one of our own. Consorting with the two-leggers, you're a disgrace there, mate, you realize? Uh, good to see you, Barker. You're doing well. Didn't you know... I uh, didn't know you were about the rights. Oh, I know about the... I know... I know, but... I can't, I can't fucking... I cannot even begin to do a voice for this. Fuck it. I'm not, I'm a, I'm not a voice actor. It's so... I'm so garbage. <laughs> Boy, I know about a lot of things, my friend. For instance, I know you're going to be very, very sad when we wipe the floor with you here. Don't know whose back you scratched to earn yourself a spot on that high and mighty Nightwings there, but I'm going to make sure you all regret it. Because why not? Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh. Rookie just looks sad. They made so many portraits for some of these characters. The Kerr Barker laughs away. Wow, that, that hyena cackle. <laughs> that was a hyena cackle. <laughs> he laughs away as his pack stumbles after him. You hear them howling and cackling at the stars as the stars above begin to, to glow. So at the beginning of the game, I thought you were kind of stuck with like one big, one medium, one small, but I think you might be able to just do any character packs you want, and that's gonna be that might show up here if we fight three different uh, dogs at once. That could be a lot.
maybe go too fast and one slow. Put the big character on the home base and then use the two fast characters to try to score points. I need the soundtrack this game, just like the other two. Dear reader, to the splendors of the accursed cairn of Aub, you shall find the downside grows less pleasant from this point. But first, there's a tradition to uphold. This time you stand against the dissidents. Even now they hunger to defeat you. Perhaps not simply to regain their freedom, but to deny you yours. <laughs> so some characters are nice and some of them are outright malicious and the game suggests that maybe there might be a moral choice system a little bit of which ones you choose to help or not along the way. As the stars shine down upon you, the pack of curs you, st you stand against this night continue hooting and howling. Oi, come at you lot, let's boil some blood. Then Rookie pulls you aside. Uh, look chum, I don't know how to say this, but I can't go against these guys. Just trust me on this one, okay? Oh, but you're my best character. Based on my playstyle so far of like three matches though. You sense he means it. You make a mental note uh, not uh, to ask him about his history with Barker whenever time permits. It's all right, Rookie. We can take care of them. Begging your pardon, but if you need another to stand at your side this night, I have someone here whom I would recommend. Do not be coy with us, minstrel. Don the robes if you intend to stand with us. Oh, I did not mean myself. The rights are not for me. I was instead referring to this little one. Oh my god. <laughs> A creature wearing tiny raiments appears at the lone minstrel's side. Oh my god, the bats can do this too? Iso seems to be volunteering to take, your uh, take on your adversaries, the dissidents. Absurd. The imp knows the rights. He knows a great deal. So long as the Nightwings stand together, he shall be at their side. Though you need not take my word for it. Tizo, our, adversar our adversaries seem to be preoccupied. Perhaps you might quickly show our comrades what you can do. The little, imp the little imp peers at you. You sense his connection to the rights as he awaits your guidance. Um. Wait, did he automatically spawn in? Tizo seems excited to demonstrate some of his favorite tricks. Reader, influencing Tizo may take some getting used to. He is inviting you to try. Oh, we're gonna play as him? Another joins your ranks. And a mere imp. Although... No, it cannot be. Then we shall see what comes of this new partnership of yours. Oh my god, these move. We're also really adding to the general feeling that maybe this game looks like like it's edible. Because this looks like some sort of weird ice thing. Can I land on top of it? No, you can't you can't land on top of it. Alright. We zip. <laughs> he moves strangely. Gotta be careful because both these things contain the same button presses. Implode? Rah! Bye. So he, he has to respawn afterwards. So if I, if I do it over here, do I respawn in the same spot or over at the spawn point? It is at the spawn point, okay. Oh, you're the weirdest. You are the weirdest. Okay, this could be interesting. We're getting some options now, at least. Yep, that's three dogs. Well done as ever, Tizo. Tizo is happy to lend his support during the rites, if you could use his help. Well then, reader, who shall conduct the rites in the name of the Nightwings? Now we shall get started. Unwilling. It's not even an option. I thought maybe it was an option, but he would be like displeased later or something. Let's see, let's take your talisman off then. 
It's a cur fang specifically. Does it have to be for a cur? An old tooth from a cur who no longer needs it. Though its owner gone, her, her fiery spirit lives. Glory 15, 20. You also have 15 again. Bonus quickness. What's your quickness? 10. Not great. Let's swap these out. I'm gonna give you quickness. I'm gonna give you bonus damage. And I think we'll go with the same crew again. I think I want to... I wanna... I wanna have one fast character, and I wanna try the new character, and so I guess I give, I'll give Jodariel defense positioning, basically. Done. What does it say here? Tizo is ready to prove himself against the distance. Time's up, you swill. Come on, boys, let's get him. I'm gonna try to defend the base with one of them if I can. Begin. Yeah, boing. Oh, that was a bad idea. There we go. <laughs> this is great. Ooh, it's a combo right there. Ah, uh, they just ran into her. Seems like a bad plan, frankly. Oh. Come here. Come here. There goes your last character. I'm just hiding behind my own character's barriers right now. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, that's a miss. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. It has gone in. There we go. This will be interesting. <laughs> I mean, I can just fly directly into it, frankly. Interesting. Yep. No, oh, thank you. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh. That sounded like it hurt. That's not good. Got it. Bye bye. Splendid. Hi. How you doing? Gonna destroy you real quick. You don't mind? There we go. <laughs> Ooh, there's some bonus damage. How are you feeling about that one? All right, you lot. That does it. No more fussing around, right? My boys and me, we're a proper angry now. What are you gonna do about that, though? Whoa. Interesting move there. Bye-bye. <laughs> The Nightwings prevail yet again! Excellent! Accomplished effortlessly, I might add. The right is complete. Oh, wow. I thought... Did we just win? Did we just beat them? Tizo was excited to have prevailed in his first right with your group. Well, well. I'll be a heaving ball of dung, but I just can't believe you shoddy lot showed us the what for like that. My boys and I will have to, uh, will have to take you just a tad more serious next time. Till then, you just be sure to tell old Rookie Greentail that yours truly, he remembers everything you hear. Oh, what did you do? To teach something of trust. 
What did you do to piss off Rookie? The scribes, they whisper to me. They do, from time to time. We've got uh, Tricks the Rope Collar. Enhances Savage's deafness and trickery. None could predict or outsmart uh, Kalimur Rope Collar, chief aide of the Emperor of Sar. Grand Trader's leanings. Savage's aggression and persistence. Rope Collar was an idiosyncratic man who uh, interests he kept to himself. Let's see, hide reflex. Brief charge up time before Faye jumps or sprints is virtually in eliminated. Ooh. So there's just no. You just do things instantly now, which is handy. Let's see. Your jumps go further. Your face. Her sprint slows other people. That's interesting. If Faye is banished while jumping, she shall instantly return to the origin of her jump. Oh. So if you, act, if you jump directly into somebody's field... If you jump directly into somebody's field, then you end up uh, getting... You just come back like nothing happened, essentially. The brief charge-up time before Faye can cast her aura is greatly reduced. Faye flings the orb faster and farther than usual. When saluting her adversaries, Faye automatically leaps toward the orb if no one has it. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. But I haven't really done the saluting yet, so I don't have a lot of re uh, realization of his value. I keep not doing that. Although it's been s apparently a, a way that I can get bonus points to the other character. While grasping the orb face, sprints and jumps without using stamina. Whoa! No stamina use while running around with the orb. That's pretty great. I think this tree looks pretty good to me. A devious trick from the rope collar. Enlightenment seldom avails itself to simple imps. Tizo feels solemn respect for the rites and all their myriad complexities. Tizo's already leveling up. Holy crap. Secrets of the Accursed Imp. Rites mastery is unleashed at imps' latent and somewhat terrifying power. The diminutive imp of the downside turned out to be much more resilient than he first appeared. Flights the Swallow. Rites Masteries enhancing a imp's ability to a utility to the rest of the uh, triumvirate. Without the aid of ha Haub the Swallow, the, the fallen emperor Solium Mur would never have survived. So move faster while doing her, his move abilities. Even faster respawn from exploding. Make the explosion bigger. I forgot, to, I completely forgot to even use the explosion during the fight, although I often, I, I underutilize offensive attacks in general so far. And this just makes him do a plus 10 against the pyre, just period, wow. That's a big spike. If banished Tizo drops a moon sign, allies can instantly teleport to from their pyre. Huh. That's bizarre. Okay. So I... They can just straight up drop a portal? That could be really useful. If Banished Tizo automatically casts his implode ability, if he does not possess the orb... Oh. Oh. That could be brutal. The enemy seems to sometimes just like randomly wiping out your characters when they're standing still. So having that... Having them then explode seems crazy. When saluting his adversaries, Tizo turns into a fast-moving howler, or back. If banished, Tizo drops an improved moon sign that boosts allies' speed and stamina. Moon sign seem seems oh, oh so slightly overcomplicated in a way that I'm that might be harder to utilize. But oh man, last laugh sounds great, and howler might be interesting. The left one is like bonuses, where the right one is like new tricks, and I kind of like the idea of new tricks on this character that seems to be built around the idea of having tricks, basically. Tis the influence of the imp scribe. And I think that's all of them. Until the next round. Splendid was your guidance to the Nightwing's reader. Your fellows are fortunate to have found one such as you. May you find the freedom that you seek.
Is he sticking around or leaving? No, I think he said he sticks around no matter what, right? After thwarting the distance with great prowess, you return to the wagon to recover from the night's ordeal and figure out how to best proceed. You alright, Rookie? Tari, kere, tari. Think so, chum. I just need a little time. Didn't count on Barker being caught up in all this. You don't owe him your conscience. You're you'll sort things out with him, you always do. Hmm. I do not wish to interrupt, but the dark of night is wa is waning. Reader, would you join us outside, please? You find Jodariel and Lone Minstrel gazing into the sky above the valley, which is beginning to grow pale. You look toward the heavens. Right, gotta get this out of the way before the sun goes down and we get into some trouble. Malith, the Bog Star. The Bog Star burns bright over the fetid cavern and the flagging hands. Then it is as I feared. We are to press further north beneath the valley into flagging hands. A gloom-filled, desolate region of the downside, beyond which lies the sea. A fetid sprawl of, no of noisome, festering, unpleasant adjectives. <laughs> Basically a disgusting swamp pit. <laughs> unpleasant adjectives. The scribes are watching over us. They will protect us wherever we should go. Had you been to the flagging hands, you would not say such things. The scribes have surely turned their backs on that place. If I may, the bleakness of flagging hands shall wear upon you to be sure. I urge for you to take what rest you can, for you shall need your strength upon the road ahead. Your fellow exiles agree to turn in for the remainder of the night. At dawn, you shall have to press deeper into the downside. We're going to a place that's literally defined by its flagging nature. Probably not ideal. 